Hi guys, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. I often share on Instagram what books I'm currently reading and recently I asked you if you wanted to see a video about books for balcony and container gardeners uh, because although there are thousands of interesting gardening books out there, they are not always relevant to us balcony gardeners because obviously growing plants in pots in the city center is not quite the same as growing them in ground in your garden. Um, so for today's episode, I prepared four interesting books. Each one of these, these books are, is unique um, and tackles different aspects of container gardening. I have a book for complete beginners, so for people who have maybe never grown plants on a balcony, who are just thinking about starting garden in the city um, and who need those basic informations, where to start, how to start and how to prepare for growing plants in pots. Then I have two books for people who have a little bit experience but just maybe need new ideas, some inspirations, um, some fun DIY projects. And then the last book is a must have. No matter where you garden, you really need this book. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I have plenty of other gardening books, uh, gardening and container gardening books. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do let me know because I can totally make a part two. Uh, and we could even include that type of video permanently into this channel where I just sit on my couch and I give you guys some book recommendations and how cool would it be if you could also share some of your recommendations uh, some books that you enjoyed reading, please do write them in the comments below. I think that we will all very much appreciate it. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to say just before we jump into talking about these books is where I buy my books, because I think that could be useful information. Uh, so I buy nearly all my books second hand. Whenever possible, I will buy them second hand. And my go-to page is AB Books. Um, they ship to Europe, UK, and I think there's US page as well. So uh, when I can find a book on AB Book, uh, on AB Books, then I go to Book Depository. They sell only new books, but they ship uh, for free worldwide, I think. Uh, so that's also um, a great page to buy some nice, interesting gardening books. Okay, so let's talk about the first book, which is called The Little Book of Small Space Gardening, Easy Grow Ideas for Balconies, Window Boxes and Other Outdoor Areas by Kay McGuire. Kay McGuire is a known garden writer and filmmaker. She trained at Royal Botanic Gardens Q. She uh, worked with BBC Gardeners World. So she's obviously knowledgeable and experienced person. Um, but I have to say I have a mixed feelings about this book. I mean, hear me out, because I'm still sitting here and recommending this book to you, right? It's a book, I think, for people who are, let's say, zero to two years of experience in gardening. I think that anywhere um, above two years of experience, you will not find this book particularly interesting or informative. But there is a lot of great things about this book, especially for beginners. For example, one thing that I absolutely loved is, and this is something that is quite unique about this book, because I, as I mentioned, I have quite a few books about container gardening, and none of those other books talks about the importance and the benefits of urban gardening. And she does talk a lot about it. She says how it benefits you, how it benefits uh, you know, people around you, how it benefits the ecosystem, the nature, wildlife. The level of encouragement in this book is absolutely amazing. On every page she says, you know, there will be challenges. Like there is no perfect place for growing plants. There will always be some plants that you can plant and that will thrive no matter what conditions you have. Um, and she talks about how to choose those plants, you know, as she talks um, about certain things that you need to pay attention to um, when you garden on a balcony or if you only have a windowsill, how to, um, you know, start that garden, what are certain things that you have to pay attention to and how to set up your garden on in those different places. So a lot of basic but still very useful information for someone who is a beginner, who has absolutely no idea where to start and um, how to best prepare for gardening on your balcony or um, whatever urban space that might be. So no overwhelming details, very simple, very clear. I really, really like when books book includes um, illustrations because I think that's such a fun, eye-pleasing accent. But I personally like illustrations when they are just dotted throughout the book. For example, she does share a few projects, but all the projects, literally all of the projects that she shows are illustrated. 
Um, and now, as much as I, as I said, as much as I love these illustrations, I think they are absolutely beautiful. I would like to see that she actually does it, because you know what I mean. Like it's really nice and fun to invent a project and to draw it on a paper, but between the paper drawing and real life, um, there's a huge difference, right? One other thing that really surprised me is that she didn't include a single picture either taken by her or taken in her garden. As readers, right, we would like to see how she gardens in her own space, what she grows and how her garden looks. Um, and there are no photos from her garden, all the photos, and by all I mean all. All the photos are just taken from the internet. At the very end, of course, she gives photo credits and all the photos, like on every single page, the photos are just taken from Shutterstock. I think that's a shame, but overall, it is a good book for beginner gardeners. Okay, book number two is called Containers, Essential Know-How and Expert Advice for Gardening Success. And it is a series Grow. So the series Grow uh, has several books um, included. I'm reading at the back here. There is Grow Easy Veg, Eco Gardening, Pruning and Training, Compost and Houseplants. So if you are interested, there are more books from this, from this series. Um, and the author, Geoff Stebbings, is uh, editor of Garden Answers magazine, broadcaster on BBC Radio. Um, he also trained at Royal Botanic Gardens Q, and he's author of several gardening books. Um, and this book is probably one of my personal favorites, because first of all, I mean, the pictures are just so, so pretty since the very beginning, and it is his photos and also photos from other photographers, from other gardeners, so no, not a lot of online pictures in this book. Um, and he goes through all the aspects of container gardening. So he talks about planning, planting, growing, watering, overwintering, choosing containers, how to plant, all of that. On every page he shares plenty of useful informations and tips and advices. Um, and it's really, here it's more detailed, like as I mentioned, this book was really for pure, pure beginners, just, you know, the surface information, just basics. Here we have a little bit more details and it starts to be more interesting. You can definitely uh, find this book very helpful as a beginner, but also I think you will find it helpful um, even with many years of balcony gardening experience or container gardening experience. Uh, so I think that's a book for everyone. He talks about, you see here it's more of a towards that design part of container gardening where he talks about planning a group display and then, uh, as I said, a lot of information on how to um, plant. He shows different projects and I really like how this guide is classified um, because he groups plants in really helpful categories. For example, here we have a um, chapter about plants for height and for structure. Um, then you have a chapter about, for example, plants for walls, fences and trellises. There is a chapter on plants for baskets, boxes and planters. Chapter on plants for shade, for um, hotspots, for um, year-round interest, for foliage. So a lot of different chapters. And I really like how this book is packed, literally packed with helpful informations and he talks about those plants obviously in the context of growing them in pots. So for example just this little part here at the top of the page is already plenty of informations. He talks about the plant type, height and spread it will reach in a pot because obviously plants in pots grow in restricted environments so they will not always reach um, the same size as for example is indicated at the plant tag. Uh, what pot size you should choose for that plant and how many plants can you plant in, in one pot. And he also talks whether that plant is hardy or not winter hardy, where, if you should protect it, how you, you should protect it. And if, should, if it should be grown um, in sun, in shade or in part shade. We have a little calendar showing us when the plant is in bloom, when the plant has foliage, how to choose a plant, how to plant it, how to grow it, how to maintain it. So all the most important informations. And I think he talks about 70 different plants. So definitely recommend this book for anyone. Okay, book number three is this. And you guys, I bought this book secondhand for 98 cents. 
believe it or not, this big, beautiful book, 98 cents on AB Books. That's why I really recommend you guys this page because you can get really awesome deals. So it's a book by David Joyce. David Joyce is gardening writer and plant advisor who has lived and created container gardens in France, New Zealand and Hong Kong. He has written many successful books on gardening, um, including this best-selling Ultimate, The Ultimate Container Garden. I actually recently purchased two other books from David Joyce because he has two other books on container gardening. One is called um, The Complete Container Garden, I think, and the other one is Window Boxes and Hanging Baskets, I think. Um, so I'm curious to read the two other books. And this book is, um, let's say, I, I would like to say that this book is a little bit more fancy, like in a way that it is really diving into like design of container gardens. Because as I said, the first book was just for beginners. The second one was more of a guide on how to plant different plants. And this one is really taking it up a notch uh, because it is sort of a garden design book for container gardens. Beautiful, beautiful pictures throughout this book. Um, and he talks a lot about, as I said, design, how to use a color um, in a different situation. And then further on, he also uh, talks about um, the technical part, let's say, of container gardening. So how to choose your containers, how to plant in your containers and how to take care of your plants. But what I love about this book is, yet again, something that I expected from the first book. Um, so he shows a lot of DIY projects and he actually shows how he makes those DIY projects here step by step with description, how he creates a beautiful, for example here, beautiful wooden window box and he also shows how he plants that window box, what plants he used and you can see the final effect and that's something that I really appreciate about this book. That's something that I want to see in a book like this, you know, a lot of beautiful pictures with compositions and stuff like that. Something that is really unique about this book is, as I said, not only he shows how to plant certain things to achieve certain effects, but what is very, very helpful. So he does show throughout the book different compositions for different seasons of interest for both summer, for spring, for autumn and, and so on. And he actually shows how he plants those plants, how many plants he uses and how he plants them in that pot, what size of container uh, he used, what potting soil, what plants. So he lists all you need and how to plant to achieve this effect. And this is so, so helpful. So the rest of the book is literally it. It's just showing you different beautiful stunning compositions and how they are planted how to take care of them you see for different seasons of interest and then uh, he also groups those compositions on colors like if you wanted to use yellows if you wanted to use whites he shows you all kinds of composition and at the end of the book we have plants classified uh, also by colors i believe here um, yes, they are classified by color. So for example, he talks about yellow plants. He shows pictures of some of those yellow plants and he lists those yellow plants um, and talks a little bit more about them. Um, so yeah, this is basically classified by color. So if you are a fan of a certain color, definitely that's helpful because you can find like, oh, what kind of orange plants I could plant in my containers. So here we have the list of plants, a little bit of information about those plants. Um, and then throughout the book, you can see compositions uh, that were made using those plants and so definitely a beautiful book full of inspirations full of ideas already ready to copy let's say recipes uh, for containers for different seasons okay you guys finally the last book and the best of them all no i'm joking seriously this book you guys you all need this book no matter how much experience you have how large or how small is your garden every gardener needs this book i swear you will not regret it if you told me that i can take only one book from my library i would keep only this one seriously that's how much i appreciate this book this book may not have the most appealing title of all pests and diseases it's a book that was recommended to me by my tutor when i was studying for rhs level 2 qualifications and he said that even after decades of being a professional horticulturist he still uses this book he still looks back to this book um, to refresh his um, memory, his knowledge. Uh, but if you were to buy this book, do pay attention to the edition because this book has been updated throughout the years and the newest edition is from 2018. 
2018, the newest edition, that's the one. Because, um, you know, in the world of horticulture, things change, things uh, evolve, certain um, control methods we no longer use, we no longer practice certain things. So it's important to have the most updated version. So what is so amazing about this book is how easily you can navigate through this book and how easily you can find a solution to your problem. If you know what pest or disease you are dealing with, it's really easy to find it in this book. For example, you are dealing with slugs, but you don't necessarily know how to get rid of them. So you have, you can find yourself slugs here and they will tell you what are the symptoms of slug damage, what is the cause and how to control them. And they show different methods of control. They will not just um, randomly tell you go ahead and spray some pesticides or something like that. They will present you different methods of approach. So that's really amazing. But let's say you are dealing with a certain problem and you don't know what problem um, you are dealing with. So let's say I have a strawberry plant and my strawberry plant has dark spots on the leaves, right? And I don't know what causes them. So what you can do is here in this, um, <clears throat> at the back of the book, you find yourself individual plant problems. And I'm gonna go ahead and find strawberry plant. So here I have strawberry. And they list you all the possible issues that you can uh, that can happen when you are growing strawberries. So you will have, for example, aphids, red spider mites, gray mold, leaf spot, um, slugs, and all, all the other um, problems. So as I said, let's say I have spots on my strawberry leaves. So we have strawberry, we have leaf spot, uh, and on the page 25, I can go and see the picture of it. So let's go ahead and open page 25. And I have leaf spot. It's not on strawberry plant, but it will just give you an idea of how it could possibly look. And then you have a little explanation. So then I go back to my individual plant problems, my strawberry, and I see leaf spot page 152. So on one, page 152, you see you have a, um, a really nice uh, information about symptoms. So how does it look, what causes it and the control methods. So very easy to navigate, very easy to find what is going on with your plant. If you know what is going on with your plant, if you know the pest or the disease, you can go, just go search for that disease in this book and they will give you solutions on how to deal with it. And if you don't know, then you just find the plant that you are, that is affected by whatever it is that you have. And then based on what plant it is, they will list you the things that could be possibly um, attacking or bothering your plant and this way you can also find a solution on how to solve it so definitely a must have okay you guys so these are the four books that i wanted to recommend to you today i chose only four because i'm such a talkative person by nature i was afraid that if i choose anymore i'll be sitting and talking here for over an hour um, but i do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know i will be more than happy to uh, include this type of videos to my channel to share with you some good reads and also please share some of your favorite books. I'm always on the search for new books about gardening so I would love to know what you enjoy reading. So that will be it for today's video. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again next week. Bye!